Good morning traders and welcome to the Daily Call today, Thursday the 15th of March. Before we get started, as always, please understand that any advice in today's session is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Okay, let's uh, go through the data that came out yesterday uh, from the US. We saw the retail sales number come in at uh, negative 0.2% and the core retail at uh, 0.1%. Yesterday was a day where the markets really traded fairly narrow. US dollar did not move around too much and this data didn't really affect uh, the US dollar. Significantly from Canada, we saw the CPI come in on forecast at 0.4%. Again, very narrow trading range for the US CAD. Our local Aussie traded even narrower with a range of around about 20-25 odd pips uh, as the wage price index came in at 0.5% to the forecast of 0.6%. And the last bit of data for the session was from Europe. It was a German preliminary GDP that also came in on forecast and the euro again did not move much. The major mover yesterday was in fact uh, the pound which had no data release at all. It continued to drop around about 70 odd pips for the session and it went through that possible support level and the next level now is at 127.90 for those of you uh, looking at a GBP USD chart. All right let us now jump into our chart of the day. Yesterday's chart of the day, uh, the pound yen did not trigger. Uh, we broke the inside candle in the wrong direction, which basically means it's a null trade. You basically cancelled out your order. We did not trigger into the trade. Not to worry, this morning we have found the pound kiwi dollar. And it's, there's kind of like two reasons for this particular trade uh, that I'm looking at at the moment. The first is the one that I've highlighted. We can see that um, if we have focus on this line here that I've drawn, um, this light level has previously acted as support over here in this region over here. Uh, then it acted as resistance over here and over here, pushing into this direction. It's broken through and we are at that level again. So what we're kind of hoping for is that we can produce some kind of price action in this re region to take the trade in that direction. So that's the first reason. The second reason which I also uh, am seeing as I'm presenting this is that we are in trend as well. We can see that the market is uh, going up, 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 and it's come and it's pulling back right now. So if we can produce the price action in the same region, which doubles up as a reason, right there, it's a, it would be a legitimate and valid trade. So basically, what we need is we need a, a price action reversal to occur here. Uh, the little candle here is only just started, so essentially this really can only be confirmed after tomorrow's candle. But add it to your hot list. Uh, this is our chart of the day. It's the GBP NZD on a daily time scale. All right, what's happening for the session which is about to kick off? We have this morning at 11.30 locally, our employment change and unemployment rate numbers. So any Aussie dollar traders look out for that. That comes out at 11.30. And then after midnight at 1.15 in the morning from Canada, we have um, Governor Pollots due to speak. So that's pretty much all the data for the session. Guys, as always, please feel free to contact us. If you do have any questions, follow me on Twitter at ChatFX for trade setups and breaking news. Most importantly, hope you'll have a fantastic trading day. I'll talk to you tomorrow for The Daily Call. Bye for now.